I'm Gerald Karhanga, a member of the Alliance for National Transformation, Political Party, and I head the Fundraising and Mobilization Committee, and I'm formerly a member of Parliament. In 1995, Ugandans again established a new constitutional order. In there, the first sentence goes, we, the people of Uganda, recalling our history that has been characterized by political and constitutional instability. The framers of the constitution then had the hindsight that Uganda has not witnessed a peaceful transition of leadership since independence, though we've changed the leaders nine times. The very provision that was supposed to ensure that a leader, the president, serves only two terms, was removed from the constitution. A few years ago, again, the presidential age limit was also removed from the constitution. All of this is intended to make one leader, the president, remain in power as long as he lives. This coupled with the gross abuse of human rights, the mass killings, the unprecedented levels of torture, the astonishing levels of people disappearing, never to be seen again. The skyrocketing levels of corruption that we've finally seen a government report just last year stating that we lose about $5.5 billion every year through corruption and public wastage. The consistent outrageous manipulation of state institutions, particularly the legislature, the judiciary, the armed forces, the army and police. All these constitute the bedrock that has sustained an autocratic regime in Uganda. Therefore, we appeal all cities and people of goodwill out there that the interconnectedness of humanity demands all of us to act, participate in the processes that will establish a democratic dispensation in Uganda.